at this point, I, I thought I was getting shot. I, f I was kind of preparing for a bullet, and my instinct was to put my hand out, like a, like a ball was coming at me, and in hindsight, it sounds so, st so stupid because it's going to do nothing. But I did. I put my hand out like this and turned away, um, and then went everything else from from here for me is completely instinctual. I drew my fire. I went directly from my firearm, but I'm also wanting to get out of the room. So I want to get out of here, but instinctively I'm also addressing the fact that there's a gun coming towards me, and I'm moving basically like like this to come away from it. And I don't have. I can't, it's really hard for me to, to remember how I accessed my firearm, if I drew, drew my jacket back or if I lifted it up and even unhasping, my holster is, is just a hasp and I don't have, you know, great recollection of, of doing that because it was just, to me, one solid motion of, of drawing it and I, I drew my firearm and I'm, you know, the gun is coming towards me and he's bringing up like his from his right, like this, and I still got my hand out, and the only thing I could verbalize uh, was no, and I kept saying no, 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 and I'm, I felt like it was a plea for him not to shoot me, and I, I was, there was a lot of stuff, uh, amazingly enough, I think, going through my mind, but it was going to be the feeling of being shot. I felt like there's going to be, this is really going to hurt, there's a bullet's going to enter me, and this is going to really fucking hurt. <clears throat> and my hand is out. I drew the firearm. I think my, my first shot, and it was completely instinctive. There was no thought. There was, you're going to be shot. You better start shooting back. And I think I pretty much fired maybe from here. I don't think I even had time to punch out. But, you know, whether it was here or here, it's really hard for me to say. And I would, I would venture to guess that my first shot, probably from around here somewhere. And I don't know what I kept doing with this hand, if this hand eventually made it back to <coughs> to link up with my gun for a proper grip or if it stayed out. And I, by this time I had punched out my, my shooting hand and my eyes were still pretty much on that, that gun. And I can see the gun still pointed at me because this is milliseconds from that fir the first shot the gun was pointed at me the second shot I still feel that gun pointed at me and I'll be we're talking through it it was just instantaneous there was no there's no break there's no it's just time is almost stopped at this point while also going very very fast and I, I don't even know how to properly explain that or make anyone understand it but and I, I, I'm moving towards the door, I'm, I'm punched out and you know, I've locked my arm out in a shooting position and I'm, I'm going for his center mass. And, and, but I'm looking at the firearm. The second shot is fired. I, I, my hand is out here, but I don't know if it was still out here or if it was here. Um, I still feel there's a threat to me. I raise and I fire towards his head. And I don't know if that shot hit. I felt like that shot was not on target. Like I did not hit him. Like it hadn't, to me it hadn't had any impact. What I had done so far I had done nothing. It was, he was there, he was still there and it was, I was still in, in imminent danger and, and that's, but while at the same time this is all happening so so fast and so the, that head shot to me missed the center mass shots I don't even, I don't I don't know if they, if they had connected or not. And I get to about here, and I'm still punched out, and I uh, shot for his head again. I know that that shot connected, because I, I, I can still see his head move from that shot. And within another instant, I'm out of the room. And it's, it's, it's that fast. It's, it's under, like if that whole process, from the time me seeing the gun to being out here, if that was any more than a second and a half to two seconds, I would be very surprised. So I came in here, I continued in here, and I saw Mr. Dumphy had come back in the chair completely. 
and uh, um, I noticed the, I could see an entry wound on the side of his head. Um, it was on this side of his head. And to me, there was no signs of, of at, at first look, there was no signs of, of life.